Gorilla Tag's worst and most racist content creator is back. Pursuit VR, the one of the most, once most once racist was, Gorilla Tag YouTubers slash streamers. People have said VR. that. This is the truth behind Mercy VR, or more commonly known as Pursuit VR. If you look at Pursuit's channel, you would see him as an innocent Gorilla Tag content creator. This is because he is very good at covering up his past. Let's start at the very beginning. Now, Pursuit started off on a channel called Mercy VR. As Mercy, he has done multiple bad things like stealing Trout VR's game, making multiple death threats, being racist, and even tarnishing the name of Fishtu, a well-known Gorilla Tag YouTuber. Trout VR is a famous Gorilla Tag YouTuber who is known for making his Gorilla Tag fan game, Kong. Now before Trout was popular, Mercy asked him for help on developing his own fan game. Trout helped Mercy, but things would soon take a dark turn. Mercy soon copied features directly from Trout's game, and since at the time Trout had basically no fan base, he was making new content for his game just to be shadowed by Mercy. Mercy's game soon got the attention of J-Man Curly, and he was going to make a video on it. Thankfully, Trout told J-Man about the situation, and he luckily didn't make a video on it. Under the identity of Mercy VR, he also did many other awful things. One of which was impersonating Fishdu, a well-known Gorilla Tag YouTuber. One day when J-Man Curly was recording a video with Fishdu and other creators, Mercy joined the lobby under the name of Fishdu and proceeded to say slurs multiple times. This resulted in Fishdu being banned from almost all of his friends' Discord servers, but his trust has since been restored. A while after Mercy VR slowed down his actions, he made a new identity, Pursuit VR. He used this as an excuse and persuaded everyone that he was ready to change. After growing his fanbase, Pursuit started doing terrible things just as he did as Mercy. He also tried to cover up everything he did in his past. Despite his attempts to lock up his past, he eventually returned to his old persona, which was to dox, be racist, and manipulate others by faking his emotions. Now you may wonder why others like me are certain that Pursuit is Mercy. Well, he has openly admitted to quote-unquote trusted individuals that he was Mercy VR. He also had an apology video put up on his YouTube. In this video, he confessed to saying the n-word multiple times and being Mercy VR. The last and final thing I'm talking about is just a little bit of the Mercy VR situation. Is where people are accusing me of being Mercy VR and be like, Oh, you're Mercy VR, you're racist, and you don't all the stuff. Yes, I am Mercy VR. But listen, you gotta hear me out. I've done so much worse stuff. I've sent death threats when I was Mercy VR. I faked suicide when I was Mercy VR. And I most plainly, I did so much bad stuff. This video has since been taken down. Additionally, a YouTuber by the name of Liam the Vlogger joined one of Pursuit's live codes and said he had proof of him saying the N word and Pursuit made random noises to block out what he was saying. Warren, code's ice cream. Stupid hackers. <laughs> New code, boys. And proceeded to mute him, report him, and switch the code. Also, in one of his thumbnails, he has a hidden message that says Mercy VR, which is really stupid for someone who is trying to hide his true identity. Now, how are we going to deal with this YouTuber? First off, if you partake in any actions relating to doxing, shaming, or harassing pursuit, you are no better than him and you have lost my respect. We can spread the truth by telling friends, reaching out, and making videos on this and together we can stop pursuit once and for all. As you can probably tell, this video is heavily inspired by Broken Metal Jax's video on the situation and most proof is used from his video so I would highly recommend you watch his video on it which I will link in the description.